Now that gay marriage is the law of the land, the conversation among politicians and pundits has shifted. It's no longer a discussion of religion or morals, it's about science. Really, really bad science. Children do best with a mom and a dad. The social science is just simply not in yet on same-sex couples. To adopt kids into a same-sex environment is a form of child abuse. Scientists agree gay parents do not screw up their kids any more than heterosexual parents do. After looking at two dozen major studies over the past few years, every major psychiatric and pediatric organization in the United States now agrees that same-sex parenting is fine for raising children. Now, if those who opposed gay parenting did so on religious or moral grounds or just admitted that they don't like people who are different than them, that would be fine. Wrong, but fine. Unfortunately, those who are against gay parenting like to cite studies. Studies that are invariably published in shady journals with small sample sizes, propagated by right-wing bloggers who, much like left-wing bloggers, do not like reading the entire study. One particularly egregious example of this kind of research was published in 2013 in a major peer-reviewed scientific journal. The results showed that the adopted children of gay parents did not do as well in school as children raised by their own biological parents. There was just one problem with that research. Studies have shown that adopted children never do as well in school as their peers. There is nothing fair about comparing gay adoptive parents to heterosexual biological parents. It's absolutely ridiculous that this passed for science. Now, children who are not adopted by loving parents, regardless of their sexual orientation, tend to end up in the foster system, where the high school dropout rate can be as high as 50%. Right now, thousands of gay couples want to adopt children, and study after study has shown that they make just as good parents as any other adoptive parents. Politics aside, children languishing in foster homes right now could really use a couple of moms or a couple of dads to help them out. Meanwhile, if anyone tries to tell you that science or research has proven that gay people make rotten parents, that's junk science.